didn't go as smooth as we might have hoped. Nope. It certainly didn't. The Nose is based on a short story by Gogol, um, which was written in 1832 and first published in 1836. Um, it is about a uh, man, the mayor, who wakes up one morning and finds that his nose is missing. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, uh, a barber uh, wakes up one morning and finds a nose in a loaf of bread. And the story unravels and we basically follow the mayor and his journey to try and find his nose. It's bonkers. It's totally, Adrian, totally Adrian, come bonkers. on, give me a little bit of paper. Oh, I had it. Voice, let me see it. Adrian, get... Ha! Ah. Come on! Adrian, come on, we have the time. Do you don't even like sports. Why do you look at it? <laughs> you never even saw a ball. Stop, Stop. Yeah. Stop. Hodge and I studied uh, at the Lecoq School in Paris together last year and in that process it's a collaborative process when you're constantly creating new work. Um, so throughout this performance we've been taking newspapers and pens and paper and everything we can to try to tell this story along with a few loaves of bread. Um, and it's really sort of just the idea that anything can come from nothing or from anything. Uh, and that's hopefully what this story tells. To him. No doubt about it. He wants a story. So we'll give him a story. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, sir. We had, we had two weeks development, which we're very lucky to have um, in terms of how do we create and devise the story because it is completely absurd. And so we, um, we focus, we try to find a hook to tell this story because it's so surreal that we needed to really kind of draw the audience's attention to certain kind of like a realistic element. So we found uh, newspapers, we found the idea of scandal, we found the idea of kind of media. Um, and so we basically then worked from using journalists and reporters, that kind of thing, um, setting it in a kind of a gangster's 1930s kind of element to it. And, and using the two journalists as kind of storytellers to allow then the, um, the absurd to kind of come through. Ivan, a barber who was a terrible drunkard and not so good in the hygiene department, woke up one morning and smelled hot bread. I think the interesting thing um, is that it's a celebration of the absurd. Mm -hmm. it's, it's why not have a story mm -hmm. that makes no sense? Why not enjoy that? Why not go on that journey of imagination and just mm -hmm. relish that mm -hmm. um, and not apologize for it, mm -hmm. I think. The Arts Council funding, um, we, we just wouldn't be able to do it at all. Uh, it allows us to, you know, employ a, a set designer, a musical director, um, actors, <laughs> the rehearsal space, a lighting designer. If we didn't have that funding, it just wouldn't be possible. I can't even say for certain if I came home on that last night. All I know is it's crazy. After all, bread is baked in the oven and you don't get noses in bakeries. So we open in the MAC in Belfast on the 25th of March. We run there until the 29th of March and then we're off on tour. Um, both north and south of Ireland and to Scotland and we finish I think on the 19th of April so all the um, all the dates are on the website which is bruisertheatrecompany.com